Hey guys, it's gonna be a great Emmy night. The lineup for TV's glitziest, glammiest night is set. Aaron Paul getting his nomination in person. Well, congratulations, how does it feel? Just great, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's unreal. More to celebrate, Aaron just tied the knot with Lauren Parsekian. How was Bless the winning? Oh, I was phenomenal. She showed up, she said yes. <laughs> That's all you It all worked for. out, yeah. More newlywed news from another drama nominee, Scandal's Carrie Washington. Who broke the news to you? I got to hear the news from my very dear friend and publicist, Michelle Benson. So uh, I was at the airport, which was good. I was really distracted. You know how when you're at the airport, you're like, your hands are full. I had my dog. I was trying to get water. I was trying to like carry three bags, which you're only supposed to have two, but I was trying to get away with it because of the dog. So I was really <laughs> distracted. And, uh, and then my phone rang, and I was like, oh, it's Michelle. Oh my gosh, I wonder what she's calling to tell me. So. That was exciting. Oh, congratulations. Oh, you're such a sweetheart. It's kind of a double congratulations because we know you recently got married, so we wanted to congratulate you on Thank that as well. You. you must just be the happiest girl in the world right now. Kinda. Yeah. <laughs> Few shows holding a candle to Liberace's love story behind the candelabra. Oh, baby, this is too good to be true. Super producer Jerry Weintraub celebrating the movie no major studio would touch in Hollywood today. Matt, Matt said he's voting for Michael, and Michael wrote me to tell me he's voting for Matt. <laughs> I have talked to uh, many actors, stars who called me to congratulate me and also tell me, why didn't you put me in that movie? Yeah. <laughs> Lee reportedly on a two-week hiatus as producers rewrite the show, receiving four nominations, including Dot Marie Jones, who played Finn's football coach. It's like, it's so emotional, a lot of emotions. But her thoughts today on Corey Monteith's sudden death. It's tough. He was a hell of a guy, and I'll miss him every day. This last season especially, I had days where it was just Corey and I, mm. and I will treasure, treasure those forever. Yeah. Emmy executive producer Ken Ehrlich. Is there going to be any special type of commemoration? Uh, there will be. It's too early. You know, it's, it's so fresh. Um, there's no question that, that, that we will do, you know, we will, we will find whatever's appropriate. The morning, bittersweet for 30 Rock, the show, Tina Fey and Alec Baldwin nominated for their final season. Don't think I'll ever have it that good again. Alec challenging episodes Matt LeBlanc in our newsroom early today. How are you gonna celebrate? Uh, with a cup of coffee and then, <laughs> and then a glass of champagne. Celebrating yet another hosting gig, Neil Patrick Harris. So what can we expect from the evening? Well, a few awards will be given out. Um, there may be a touch of comedy and fancy dresses, and we're hoping, you know, a fall or two up the stairs. <laughs> yes, well, you can make that happen, I'm sure. <laughs> we'll see. He's multi-talented, and we're, we're really excited to have him hosting the show this year. The Emmys, September 22nd on CBS. Thank you for watching Extra on YouTube. And for 24-7 updates on celebrity news, subscribe to our channel here, like us on Facebook here, or follow us on Twitter here. And if you <laughs> want your voice heard, leave a comment below. Where? Right there. <laughs>